only eating every other day for 100 day challenge. Today is day 76, weigh in results. I didn't eat yesterday, feeling better than yesterday. However, today was an eating day and I counted all these calories and I realized what my problem is. I did amazing on probably the first 65 days. The last week or so, my weight has been going like a flat line almost. And I think I just figured it out like 30 minutes ago. I ate so many calories today. I actually um, was mindful of my calories. I ate two meals. I'm gonna share what I ate yesterday. Today is really just the weigh-in video, but my epiphany, <laughs> uh, which is common sense really, with the math, that's my maintenance calories. However, as you go down in weight, your maintenance calories also go down. So the level of calories I've been eating the first 60 days was enough to make me go down in weight, okay? Add in the water weight to the beginning, add in the drastic change to how I normally eat, which is outrageous when I'm not doing videos. I just realized a minute ago, okay, you've been eating whatever you want, it's been working. Now your weight is 30 pounds down, you need to adjust. Don't eat so much. So yeah, today I counted calories and it was just big, okay? Um, but I'm excited. I learned something today and it's something I already knew. We all know what we need to know to lose the weight. Every last one of us watching this video that needs to lose weight understands calorie deficit. We all understand that. It's just how do you want to do the math? Choose a rate choose what you're willing to do and not do as far as food restrictions, exercise increase, balance it so that weight loss happens and don't gain back the weight. That's the goal for me from now on. That's the focus. I don't wanna lose weight and gain it back. Every pound gone is such a blessing. It's such a struggle and it's hard work. Like I said in a few videos ago, I'd rather lose 3.5 pounds a week than 10 pounds in three days or something like that. Even though I'm still, I still like that and I'm still used to that, I know it's not smart. And I know the smaller weight never coming back is way better than losing 80 pounds in 100 days or 70 pounds in 100 days and then gaining back 45 of it, no. I'd rather keep it off, okay? I hope that that's what you wanna do too, and that's what we focus on this year is getting the weight off, keeping it off, okay? Whew, that's all I'm gonna say today. I forgot to put on my makeup for you guys. Um, all I put on is lip gloss for you. <laughs> I don't wear it at all, I don't wear anything. I would like to do a make makeup video one day, but right now the focus is lose this freaking weight, okay? About to go to Amazon and pack your boxes. And I worked really hard last night. Here is the scale. Okay, I put the scale there. It's only been three minutes. Some people don't want to support me all the way to the end, even though it is so... I only noticed that when I'm doing a video and I put my hands up. Um, yeah, I'm prepared for it. Like, I am not negative about myself at all. I appreciate you guys lifting me up during the last couple of days when I might have not been talking so great. Really, honestly, I am very confident in who I am and I understand my problems and I embrace what my body is, what my body will be. Like, it's just, I just noticed that when I do that, that's it. And I do notice the loose skin, which is a good thing. Talked to my boss, so my boss came through and I was like, um, hi, what are the metrics that you guys... Um, anyway, long story short, I was able to tell him that the other place that I don't like to work hurts my back. He said he didn't know. I didn't even know I didn't tell him because you usually deal with the assistant managers. So yesterday I did not have to go over there. I explained to him that um, my car accident, my back's been hurting for like 10 months and... I really pray that it goes away one day. Um, soon, hopefully, I'll get back to the massage place. I used to go like once or twice a week. Um, but that gets kind of pricey. And I'm not working as hard as I should to be able to afford that luxury. And it's not covered by insurance. Anyway, it was a great conversation. I do expect to be going over there way less. I am going to give even higher performances 
much as possible out of appreciation for them keeping me in the spot that I do like. Um, so yeah, that's good news. I'm happy about that. Um, I was going, I'm going to work an hour late tonight because my son had a basketball game. I saw it, but he doesn't. So both of my little kids are at the gym. Anyway, I will not ramble. Thank you for watching to the absolute end.